Hi there, this is Jeanette, and today I'm going to be showing you how I put together this birthday card. Right now, you see I'm cutting some cardstock and some pattern paper. This is from Authentic. And I am going to just score a line here so that I can create an A2 size card. Now I'm going to run um, the same uh, cardstock, which is Nina cardstock, through my Big Shot. I am using the largest and second to largest um, rectangle, stitched rectangle from Lawn Fawn. And you see if I place a smaller one inside the larger one, I end up having a nice um, window. Then I'm going to take the large rectangle and I will cut out um, the piece of pattern paper. I do this just because I like to have all the layers the same width. Um, it makes it a little easier for me to sort of put the card together. Now I'm cutting a piece of vellum with the same large rectangle. And I'm going to take now um, a cloud die. This is from Mama Elephant, I believe and I am going to cut out the clouds and it has a nice stitch detail on it so it sort of repeats the stitch detail that is on my rectangles. I decided that since I had the vellum there and the cloud um, die there that I would just recut another piece and I'll put that aside for another card. Now I'm taking a piece of sort of light aqua cardstock and I'm using that large rectangle again to sort of cut that out. And I'm going to be taking um, Mama Elephant Landscape dies and this is going to create the waves for my card. You can also use Lawn Fawn has a really nice um, set of stitched um, hillside borders I think they're called. They're very very similar. So now that I've got those cut I am going to go ahead and just add a little bit of sponging on the edges. This is Soft Pool Hero Arts ink and I'm just sort of um, adding that to the edges and it gives it a little bit more definition so that when they're layered um, against each other it, it looks a little bit more realistic. So now you see I have most of my components. I've sort of left them off to the side and now I'm going to stamp out my images. So this is the Year 5 Lawn Fawn stamp set and it's a cute little otter. And I generally, when I'm stamping out my images for a card, I'll go ahead and stamp a couple of them just in case uh, when I'm doing the coloration I sort of mess it up or I'm not happy with it. That way I don't have to go and pull the stamp set out again. So a little bit of my image is out of frame. I'm sorry about that. But you can see most of what I'm coloring. And I will have a list of all these markers at the end um, of my video or certainly it'll be like below if you click the info button you'll you'll have it all and it will also be listed on my blog posting which I will link to. So I started off with uh, my lightest color then I added my mid and then I go back again um, to blend out with my lightest color and this is how I, I color with my Copics. And now I'm adding a slightly darker shade and you can see that I'm not putting nearly as much of that down. It's a nice rich color and um, as soon as that's down I'm going to blend it out with my mid shade and I just go back and forth until I'm I'm happy with the the blending um, sometimes you can't get it perfect um, the first shot but with Copic markers you can certainly go back and and sort of play with it until you get it exactly the way you want it so this is my mid color again and you can see how it blends out that darker color so it's not so so stark a contrast And here's my lighter shade, and again blending. And then I'm just going back in with my mid. I, I felt that it needed a little bit more um, of that color in there. 
little bit of the dark again so you can see just play around with it until you're really you're happy with it and as long as you don't put too much ink down um, you shouldn't oversaturate your paper So now I'm going to color the little present and uh, it's really, it's quite a tiny image. So you can see I'm just, um, just using basically two marker colors and I am creating my mid shade by using the, the tip to tip method which means I'm just pulling a little bit of darker color with my light marker and, and that just sort of blends it a little bit easier and you don't have to add as much ink because you don't want those colors to bleed out. So those are all the markers I used. And now I'm just going to cut them out. I have the um, little dies that um, coordinate with this set. And I have a magnetic sort of cutting plate or underneath the big shot. So that sort of secures the dies. But I also put um, a little post-it down so that they don't move. That way it cuts right the first time. So just popping them out and you can see it gives a really nice crisp white border around it and it's it's so fast. So now I'm putting my card together. So this will be sort of the sky. So that's my first layer. And then I'm just going to sort of place everything, my clouds and my water and I'm just sort of deciding where everything's going to go and once I know things are in the right area then I'm going to start securing them down. Because I don't want my adhesive to show um, through the vellum I just adhered it at the bottom where it's going to be hidden by the water. So I put a little bit of adhesive there just to hold that second layer of water and now I'm using my embossing buddy running it over. Um, I'm putting the frame back on because I'm going to be stamping my sentiment with Versamark but I want to make sure it's placed exactly where I want it. Now I can just lift that up. I'm going to use my em white embossing powder on that and just use my heating tool and I always love this step. I love how it just pops out. So now I can adhere that down and I'm using foam tape to adhere that down. It gives a little extra sort of aspect of dimension when you do that. And I'll just snip the, those little extra pieces off Yep, and I saw a little piece was still sort of sticking out, so I clipped that off. And now I'm going to add the frame. Now because I have adhesive on the bottom portion, I'm only going to put the adhesive, the foam adhesive, on the top part. So that in the end, the card will all have the same sort of level. I don't know if that makes sense. I think when you see what I'm doing, it'll make more sense. So the foam adhesive is going to go on the area of the frame where it'll bring it up to meet the second level of water. And then you'll see that I clipped that off. I erased the little pencil marks. I'm just sort of removing the little backing to the adhesive and then I carefully place that down. And then I can use my regular adhesive to tape the rest down. Now I have my little otter playing on the waves and I decided that I wanted to tuck the present underneath his arm so I'm just taking this little Tim Holtz craft knife 
and I'm carefully cutting around that arm. And then I'll be able to tuck the present in there. So it, it again, it's a little touch that makes it look a little bit more realistic. So I'm just going to get this little guy taped down. And my card is done.